Did you know there's edible food in the forest behind me? We all need to get educated on how to feed ourselves with what's available in our region. In this case, I'm making a video regarding free superfoods. How I did it is I used dandelion, plantain, and stinging nettle, all common weeds in the region I live in. All right, now we are looking at stinging nettles, classic stinging nettles. Okay, just to make sure, we'll test it. And then uh, we'll know by the way my arm feels. Now I'm a little sweaty and it's an older plant, so don't know. It, it stings a little bit, but not much. So these are stinging nettles. <laughs> That's how you test it, folks. Dang it. That's pretty zippy. Okay. Um, also, folks, as we're working around in here, here's another one. Nice little plant here. We'll strip it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That hurts. Okay, so I'm, I'm, in, I'm standing in the midst of all these stinging nettles. Now I'm getting stung. But I want to also point out this is poison oak. You don't want to touch that. Otherwise you'll have a reaction to it. And in emergency, nobody needs that kind of trouble. So just be aware. Be aware of your, your local area where you can know your perils. Just so you know, here's the legal disclaimer. Wear gloves, <laughs> that way it doesn't hurt. I'm picking a stalk from there, and then I, I'm gonna strip it. There it is. Let me get rid of the We're stalk. looking at two bags. One bag is of stinging nettles, and the other bag, about the same size, is of dandelions that we picked. We had another bag of plantain that has already been dried and it's in our old rice bucket. And we've, we've pressed it down and we will continue to do so once we get it all in there and we'll crush it all down and then we will um, run it through a blender and just turn it into powder. And we'll show you that in a little bit. What we're going to do is we've got the uh, colander set up and we're just going to rinse them off wash the, the um, herbs well and uh, one thing I want to encourage everybody to do is really understand what these things look like you don't want to go picking the wrong thing so do your homework and make sure you understand what a dandelion looks like and what a stinging nettle looks like and what the plantain looks like. They're pretty common, they're everywhere, but understand exactly what they look like because you don't want to pick the wrong plant. Okay, go ahead. There you go. Like giving it a shower. We are now dehydrating right now, and this is a just a, a, a bigger dehydrator. It's got, let's see, five and then four more inside shelves and I'm only running four because of the fluffiness of the leaves. They're coming down now, they're getting drier. That's how it looks. It's just a simple unit that's got nine shelves in it if you've got really thin stuff to dehydrate. Runs on a timer and then it, we run it for about 12 hours uh, and then it's uh, it's dry and we put it in the bucket I crunch it up well we're to the point now where we picked our dandelion plantain and stinging nettle and now we're going to uh, well we have already dehydrated it and then we put it all in this bucket and now you can see it here now what I'm going to do it's real crunchy so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crunch it down and then after that, I'm going to grind it to a fine powder, and then there we have our superfood. 
Now I've finished grinding it by hand. Now I've got everything to make my powder, powderize this stuff. So now we're going to pour it in. I suggest, I'm doing this in the sunroom and I'm going to have to vacuum later, but I suggest to, it's, it's a little dusty when you do this. Where it's at right now. Here we go. finer than that. Careful, the blades are sharp. I'm going to pour it into Well, the chopper and grinder got it to this consistency which, uh, that's not good enough. You want a fine powder, like that. You see that? That's a really fine powder. The, the stuff that you buy at the store is powdered like this, not like that. So what I did is we have this coffee grinder. So this is what this looks like. I always like to see what it looks like. Real simple. Well now we've gotten that. That's my rice bucket or wheat bucket or whatever. It's a four gallon bucket that I use for grain and so forth. Well I reused it for this and you saw how full it was. Now it's empty and it's gone down to this. I have a lot more respect for how much work it takes to grind all that stuff and make it into a powder form. That's a lot of material. That started out as uh, three or three one-third bags, a full bag, a full bag, 13-gallon bag of uh, leafy material, which we washed and then dried and then dehydrated. And so now it's made it to the powder form, as you see. Well, here's to your health.